and welcome to this week's episode of Fun with Whole Foods. Um, this week we're taking a fresh look at bran muffins. Yummy, but they don't always have the best reputation from a coffee shop, very often being pumped up in sugar and not as healthy as they will appear to be at first glance. As I've been saying on my blog though, if that's your jam, if you're happy to have a lot of sugar, go for it. Don't let people judge you for your food choices. Me, I'm not so good with the sugar. Makes me a bit, um, makes my moves quite unstable. So I try to come up with alternatives that give me yummy food that I love to eat while still keeping me nice, stable, happy in how I like myself. So I'm gonna get started. Um, We've got a quarter cup of milled mixed seeds into the bowl. One quarter cup of ground almonds. Um, it might be known as almond flour to you. Uh, it's still a bit grainy, it's not really fine. And it's okay though, it'll give us some texture, which we need. Um, if you can't have almonds, but you can have another type of nut, that should work as a substitute. Um, I don't know further than that, I haven't thought it through. Then I'm going to take one eighth of a cup of oat flour. And then one eighth of a cup of oat bran. Um, I've done some experimentation. You can sub all the oat flour for oat bran if you want, which makes those muffins lower in carbs than they already are. Um, doesn't seem to really affect the texture. But if you try to substitute it so it's all oat flour, I find they come out a little bit too dense. And then we're going to take a teaspoon of baking powder, which as we will remember from two weeks ago when we did the courgette muffins, Baking powder puffs to give us a lovely lift. I'm just going to whisk together these dry ingredients because, you know, I'm posh. Um, so our next ingredient is vanilla. Now, I find vanilla varies in price wildly country to country. Um, just smell that, sorry. If a, yes, it can be a very expensive ingredient. And not everyone can afford to use a vanilla pod every single time they make these muffins. Um, vanilla is wonderful, it's an antidepressant, it just, sorry, I'm gonna smell again, makes you feel amazing. Um, and it's really, it's naturally very sweet so it helps to lift the sweetness of any dish. So because we're not adding sugar to these, the vanilla helps to lift up the sweetness. If you can't afford to use vanilla pod, um, you can go for a vanilla bean paste, but do be aware that they have sugar in, or glucose syrup, which they're suspending um, the little seeds in. Um, so that will increase the sugar in your muffins, but not by a huge amount. You're not going to put in tons and tons of it. Um, you have a couple of different types of extracts. This one has alcohol, but has a bit of added sugar. This one is a store one, which doesn't have added sugar, does have alcohol in it. Um, so they're a great way, I mean, the cost of this bottle is less than half the cost of um, a single vanilla pod. Um, or what I do is I like to make my own extract by after I've sliced open my pod and I've removed the little beans, the little seeds. Um, I'm gonna laugh if I can't slice this one today. <laughs> I did not practice this earlier. And so I slice it open and then run the flat of the knife down to extract all the beautiful little seeds. Let's put them on the palm of my hands. They're quite sticky. 
and shove that in to the mix and then I like quite a strong vanilla so I'll do it on the other one as well just running it down getting all the seeds out no they're so tricky why doesn't nature make everything perfectly symmetrical and easy to get out eh but yeah that'll do um so I'll make one batch using the full pod and then what I'll do is I'll take what's left the woody bit and there's still some seeds that haven't come out and I'll get a vodka miniature um I think I said both the other extracts have alcohol vodka least flavored alcohol that there is and this has been in there less than a week and if you compare the colour of this to the store bought, you can see I've already got more colour in there. And if you just smell that, oh, it smells divine. And let's just do a little taste. No, little taste. Oh, yeah. I love vanilla. Um, how is it I've seen it described before on a blog? Like angel tears. So, amazing. Other uses for the pods, what's left after you scraped out the seeds. Um, I don't know how many of you grew up with a jar of vanilla sugar in the cupboard. Um, it's probably still there somewhere. But where I don't use sugar, I've been trying pods in with my milled mix seeds to make the seeds vanilla-y. And they do smell kind of vanilla -y. I'm not sure how successful. Another thing that I will do is drop them into a carton of, my words have gone, almond milk to make my own vanilla almond milk. Um, so I'll do that a bit later. But yes, yeah, so we have added our vanilla, wonderful vanilla. Sorry, that was quite a long sidebar. Um, next, you're going to add two eggs. Might well have been a longer sidebar than I intended. Which is just how much I adore vanilla. Um, and you're going to have between a, an eighth and a quarter of a cup of almond milk. Um, start off with an eighth, see how it looks, and then add more if you need to. Um, so whisk it together. We're going for a fairly thin batter, to be honest. Because the seeds, the ground almonds, and all the bran is going to really absorb a lot of fluid. So I want a little bit more. So I'm going to add another eighth of a cup today. You need a full quarter cup. Um, it doesn't matter if you make it a little too thin, they'll be fine. So I'm going to whisk that in. Wonderful. Done with the whisk. Now we're doing blueberry bursting flavour, blueberry bursting, bursting blueberry. So we're going to add about 100 grams of fresh blueberries, just here, and just fold them into the batter. Um, the reason I call it bursting blueberries is because they will, some will pop in the oven with heat, some will stay relatively whole, and then when you bite into the muffin you're going to get these pops of fresh blueberry goodness going in your mouth and it'll be really sudden and really quite sweet where the muffins themselves aren't overly sweet. So we've got our four cups and we're going to use the quarter cup measure just to ladle in our muffin mixture into the cups. Um, Sometimes I get a bit messy, I try to be tidy. I do, I really do. Um, and you'll find it doesn't quite split evenly. So, because some stays in the car, some will have more blueberries than the others. So just that last little bit of mixture, try and even it out so they're all roughly the same amount. Beautiful. And then, because we want to look a little bit posh, gonna just take a pinch of oat bran, sprinkle on the top, um, 
because let's be decorative. So here they are before they go into the oven. And we're going to put them in at gas mark six for about 20 minutes. Doobie, 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 doobie. And then you'll see as they come out. They have risen beautifully. Don't know if you can hear the popping, the blueberries. Um, and just poke the top. They're springing back like you would expect a cake to do. And I'll show you one from yesterday. Sometimes they stick a little bit to the cases, but I never mind scraping off some extra. In this case, a lot of extra muffin from the cases. And you'll see blueberries and pop everywhere. Wonderful. Um, these really are best eaten the day you make them. Although they'll keep for a couple of days, um, fresher the better. So enjoy the muffins and I'll see you next week.